And good morning, fellas and ladies. We are just leaving the TA truck stop right now. Yep. And we are going to go over to our pickup location here. I was going to try and film something here, but I don't think my camera will capture it. No, no. I just had a uh, lady walk walk up to me and asked me if I needed company and I said no way I need to get out of here <laughs> I don't know I don't need a prostitute in my truck I got a wife and kids that's the last thing I need is a prostitute all kinds of diseases and all that stuff you know but it looks like it's going to be a good morning. Well, a little cloudy out there, but uh, at least it's not snowing. At least not yet. So we'll go over to our customer and then uh, hopefully we can get our load on and make some miles again today. I didn't do very many miles just yesterday. Only drove 380 miles or something, something like that. So, uh, so yeah. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a good day today. So. Anyways, we'll be back in a bit. Well, here we go. We just stopped or just pulled into the first rest area up here in Pennsylvania. I had the lights flashing up there for the scale, like they got, supposedly have a scale in there. I had the lights flashing and everything in there on the on the road there, but they were supposed to come in. Well, when we got in there, I didn't really see any DOTs up there, but uh, I guess they were hiding in there somewhere. But didn't didn't bother me at all. But finally got loading the loaded this morning. And now we are off to uh, Nipawa, Nipawa, or Napanee, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Napanee, I think that's what they call it. And uh, as you can probably tell, it's raining. Raining and ice mixture together, mixed together. Yeah, so the roads are pretty crappy. But, we'll see. I just saw a snowplow going by here a little by, a bit ago, so hopefully they leave some salt behind. We'll see how far we can do it today, but I think we can make it up to there where, we, where I want to go, up to uh, Napanee, but we'll see how the roads are depending on the road, right? But this is the conditions that we have to drive in as truckers. And that's just how life goes. Well guys, I just stopped over here at a rest area along I-90 in New York State. And I wanted to show you guys. I was telling you I was getting a little bit of ice rain. So I will look at my mirror. That's just one pure ice. Yep, look at that. Man. Everything is ice again. Look at that, even here. Man, that's that's pretty solid. Look at that. That's where I got my fog lights, and they're all covered. <laughs> Look at my uh, my lights up here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, them roads were certainly not nice at all. Oh man, Look at that. Look at all the ice up here. Yep. There we go. There we go. And break off some of this. There we go. That's good. That's what I wanted to knock some ice off of there. There you go. Yeah, anyways, I'll probably go inside and grab me a bite to eat and continue on, I guess. So we'll see you in a bit. No, oh, this is awesome. Look at this. Going across the highway. I 90 is right there. Here we go. 
let's go back out there and uh, see what we can do see how the roads are gonna be it's still ice raining but I'm gonna try and continue anyways because I got to try and make it to uh, Napanee tomorrow and see if that's gonna happen but I'm gonna give it a try anyways right well at least I am I guess you guys can join me with riding along with me I suppose I sure hope you guys have better weather where you guys are because I certainly don't enjoy this kind of weather that's for sure I'd much rather have uh, snow than ice rain you know I'll take snow any day over this ice rain crap but we got it now so we have to deal with it we'll see how it goes when we get going here yeah it looks like about the same as what we had up there in Ohio and Pennsylvania oh well just keep our fingers crossed that we're going to be safe we're going to make it and that's all we can do drive professionally at least try our darn near best to do it and we should be all right i don't know how good you're going to be able to see these tall buildings up here but uh, i think they're gorgeous yep this is buffalo new york for you yeah let's move over here so this van can come in yeah that's uh, buffalo new york we are going to go across the border up here very soon We're going to be crossing into fort erie ontario so we'll uh See you on the other side here we go guys we are going to go across the river right now crossing into Ontario Fort Erie Ontario as I told you guys and I was talking to trucker jukebox there the other day if you guys remember that interview yep he said he crossed here one time before Lake Erie Circle tour so trucker jukebox if you are watching this uh, probably looks familiar to you yeah so this will give you uh, a little bit of a memory where you've been before yep you're crossing into Canada right now yeah it's been pretty icy crossing border entering Ontario ice rain has been doing some damage in the last while but yeah well just gotta live with it I guess Keep anyways right we'll see you on the other side sir. here we are on the other side that's a welcome to Ontario sign yeah so we are officially in Ontario right now and right up here on the right where this truck is standing there's a sign up there saying truck must use speed limiters I don't know why he stopped up here he's not supposed to stop up here but uh, I guess some people just don't care but we're gonna put the hammer down as we know it Ontario always puts lots of salt down on their roads so our roads should be good at least that's my idea or my thinking that the roads should be good we'll see we'll see anyways we got about an hour and 45 minutes or two hours to go to uh, Toronto or Mississauga Ontario which is part of Toronto anyways but I'm gonna go to Mississauga now we'll uh, fuel the truck up and get some go go juice yeah I'm already less than a quarter of a tank so 
gonna have to try and make her down there. Have a look at these snow plows. They shut down the whole road, eh? Look at that, three on the road. Oh, they even got them wagons behind, eh? Yeah. Well, guys, I am done for today. My day is over and I am tired. I'm ready to go to bed. It has been a long day. It's just been ice raining all day long. I mean, it's been a hard day for me. So I'm going to call it a day. Go straight into there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to bed. So we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And see you again.